Right guys, welcome back. So in this video, as I said, it's the second part of the first video where we kind of made a moving bullet destroy an enemy. Um, so we are going to set up, basically when the player clicks, it fires a bullet. And then we're going to change something that we put on the bullet in the last video so that it works with our rotation. You'll see why this doesn't work just yet, but we'll come to it. Anyway, so let's start with this. So we'll right click and we are going to create a new script. We're going to call this player shooting. I'm going to open that. So we've got our new script. We need to reference two variables at the, st at the start, which is two public ones, public game object. Obviously we need to know what we're shooting. So we're going to call it bullet and public transform fire point. So what this will be, this, this is be the point that you want the bullet to shoot from. A lot of people just put it on the player, but then later on add like player damage from bullets and then wonder why the players die when there's bullets spawning inside them. Always a really bad idea. So I always go for a fire point. Um, then in the update function, we are just gonna add an if statement, if input, dot get button down and we are going to reference fire one make sure that fire one has a capital f because this isn't us making something up this is a real import this is basically the left click it's called fire one um so yeah next we're going to do something called an instantiation so we instantiate which means to kind of create a copy or an instance um instantiate the bullet at fire point dot position and the rotation will be at fire point dot rotation save that it's as simple as that so what i've already gone ahead and done is this so i'll just delete that out um so before we start kind of playing around with this and getting it all working there's a few things we need to set up so we can put the player shooting on there but we don't have a fire point, so, and we don't have a bullet prefab. We've got a bullet in the scene, but the issue with the bullet in the scene is we, as soon as that destroys itself, we haven't got it anymore. We don't know what we're copying. So that's where prefabbing comes in. So I'm just gonna right click on the gun barrel thing that we made and create an empty. An empty, all it has is a transform. You can't see it because there is nothing to see. So I'm going to put that just on the end of the gun barrel. I'm then going to go to the player script and I'm going to drag the empty into the fire point. The next thing is the bullet. So I would always suggest going in and zeroing out your transform. The reason for this is if you don't and then you create like an instance like we're doing, it will be offset from whatever it's transforms at. So we want this to create exactly where we told it to. So I am going to go to prefabs. I'm going to drag the bullet into there. And so I don't get confused, I'm going to delete the bullet out the scene. Because a lot of people, they'll drag the bullet from the scene into this next bit. So we've got the bullet here. We can drag that into there. If you drag the bullet from the scene, it all goes wrong. It'll just stop working at some point. Five seconds in, it won't work anymore. Um, so technically speaking, this should work. But I'm about to show you why it won't. So we'll click play, shoot, right, looks like it's working. We move, we aim over here, right, so there's something going wrong here. And this is the thing that I was saying about before, why we might need to play around with the bullet script. So in the last video, I discussed the fact that we just needed to make the bullet move so we could show the player killing everything. Uh, yeah. So what we're going to do now is just going to add a minor change to this script so that it shoots in the direction it's facing. So I'm going to remove this little bit here. I'm going to add a transform. Bear in mind, this is in the bullet script. Transform up times by speed. So it's still using the speed. It's just shooting in the direction it's looking now. So before we just needed it moving, it was moving but now it's going to move in the direction it's looking. It figures out the direction it's looking from the fact that it spawns from the fire point. 
So I click play now. So straight up, yeah, that works. But everything else starts to work. So we can, and as you can hear from my clicking, is it if you hold it down, if you hold the uh, the the mouse button down, it doesn't continually shoot because I don't want that. I want you to have to click every time you want to shoot. So there's shooting. Um, there's shooting. It kills an enemy, and it all pretty much works. There's probably a lot more you can do with it if you want to, but as a basic kind of set of videos, that shooting working, that's enemies dying, that kind of all works. So I'm gonna have a think about what'll be the next video, so I'll surprise you with it. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll catch you there, cheers.